Many they try but could not steal my honey. Many they try but could not get to love. Some fool they try to trick her with his money. Turn around and wonder what she is made of. Wagwan, wagwan, reggae people. Now, I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, hey, why didn't he just sing the entire song? We were enjoying it. But for copyright reasons, I will not. I cannot. I mean, you guys want me to stay here and teach you guys, right? You guys want to learn a lot about reggae. I mean, this is why you call me back here, isn't it? Of course. Now, I'll try to leave a link to the full song down there in the description. Or you can just go ahead and type in Groovy Little Thing by Beres Hammond, the maestro himself. This song I consider to be one of the greatest two-card reggae song. All right? If not the greatest. I mean, hey, I know a lot of people are going to come for me, but hey, listen. <laughs> Beres Hammond, Groovy Little Thing. Let me show you to play this one. Grab your guitars. Let's go. All right, so now that we are zoomed in, I want to take a minute to welcome all my new subscribers and all my new viewers. All right? And all those who are just passing through. To all my subscribers, to all my supporters that have been here with me from the jump, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you for being here. Now, guys, remember, in order for this channel to grow, I'm going to need you guys to hit the like button. Do not skip the ads. And also... I want you guys to drop a comment. If it's even a hi or good video or thank you, something, don't just watch and leave. Now, this song is in the key of D major and we are playing from one to five. For all those who know about chord progression and know how to form these cards, all right, all those who have been learning from me for the longest, you already know the song, right? One to five, D major, all right? But you guys want to you guys want to stick around for the stock line. All right, so um, here we go. You want to come all the way up here. Use a pointer finger. You want to borrow the entire fifth fret. You want to place that ring finger on the second, third, and fourth string of the seventh fret. You want to play from the fifth string down. And I'm going to take the time out to let you guys know that I'm using a line six pot go. I've been using this for a while. I haven't used it. I haven't used it in a while. No. Um, so unfortunately, the war pedal is gone. I don't know what. I tried everything, but no war pedal. But we're still pushing on. All right. So it's clean. It has a little bit of 70s chorus. Um, a little bit of reverb right there. That's why it sounds like that. All right. So um, so yeah. Again. By the entire fifth fret, place that ring finger on the second, third, and fourth string of the seventh fret, like that. Play from the fifth string down, and that's your one, which is D major. To form the five, you wanna you wanna um, hold the fifth string, the fifth fret, still with the pointer finger. You wanna place that middle finger, the middle finger, <laughs> on the the third string, sixth fret, place that pinky finger on the fourth string, seventh fret, ring finger at the fifth string, seventh fret. And that's it right there. So that's what you get. Many did try, but could not steal my honey. That's the song. All that's left. Is for you to add a little bit of flavor, a little bit of whatever you want to add to it, like a, you know, those little slides and stuff. All right. Now, as it relates to strumming, as long as you guys are not doing, you are good. <laughs> All right. You can choose if you want to just play one strike, just like that. Every now and then, if you feel, you can do a little bit of. I want you to watch this hand. This hand is working us, all right? It's not just strumming. As I'm using right here to mute it a little bit, okay? So, if you want to play a double skank, it's also okay. So, you can play. All right? So, um, 
of course, I always make, do that little, little slide and that little upstroke. You know, it's just my style. All right, so again, double skank. You can do that as long as well as you can do. All right, so that's basically it right there. That's the song. All right, if you have any questions as it relates to strumming and chords, drop it down there in the comment section. All right, so on to my favorite part, which is the stock line. So you're going to play the stock line as if you are playing the A major. You're going to play the A major scale, which is... All right, so you want to start there. Right? Don't just play the cards because if you just yeah the, the, the notes because you're gonna get listen to the difference. You hear that mellow sound? That's because I'm using the palm right here to gently rest it on whichever note I'm playing, whichever string I'm playing, you know. To give it that sound rather than now it depends on the amount of tension you are adding the amount of pressure that you're putting on it so listen now i'm going to really press on it it sounds tight you want to loosen it up just a little bit it's going to get tighter listen tighter listen to it loose This is beat. This here is tighter again. What more of? You know, just the right amount. All right. So of course, I know you guys wanna, you know, took a little bit long right there, but I just wanted to make make it clear. So now you wanna play one, two, three, four, five. Right on the one. So you wanna play five times on the one. Then I'm gonna move to the two. Okay? So that two is up there at the seventh string, at the seventh fret. Same string. So. Okay? Then you wanna jump down to your fourth fret. Fourth fret. Fifth string. And then. The fifth fret. That's where you finish. So again, when you're gonna play the next one, you go. So the first one is gonna be five. One, two, three, four, five. Then the second one. One, two, three, four. Okay. So you groove with it. Now remember, when you're playing these, you want to do up, down, up, down, like that. Much better. All right? That's it for your stock line. That's it for the entire song. All right? The greatest two-card reggae song. Now you guys want to add this. If you play in a reggae band, if you're a reggae singer, you need to add this one to the catalog. All right? It's a must. It's a must. Guaranteed to make you groove. All right? Guaranteed to make you move. That's it. That's the entire video. That's the entire lesson. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something. Now, if there's anything that you guys were not so clear on, drop it down there in the comment section. All right? Please remember to like, share, comment. And if you're just passing through, subscribe. It takes less than two seconds. The button is right down there. It's red. And remember, hit the notification bell. This way, whenever I post a video or whatever I put here on YouTube, you will be notified. Peace out. Blessings. See you next time.